Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my words. Forty years I endured that generation. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. The light came into the world, but men love darkness. God stands in the divine assembly. In the midst of the gods, he gives judgment. 
How long will you judge unjustly and favor the cause of the wicked? Do justice for the weak and the orphan. Defend the afflicted and the needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Set them free from the hand of the wicked. Unperceiving, they grope in the darkness, and the order of the world is shaken. I have said to you, you are gods, and all the few sons of the Most High. And yet you shall die like men, you shall fall like any other princess. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you rule of the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, to us, and who is to come, now and forever. the earth. 
the deceit and what fills it resound, the ghost lands and those who dwell in them. Let the stab at its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult and shout from the top of the mountain. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastland. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he stirs up his heart. He shouts out his battle cry, against his enemies he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence, I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills, all the herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is who was and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. In these last days, God has spoken to us by us. Majesty in robe. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. Your holy lady were not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea. The Lord is glorious on high. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house. O Lord, until the end of time. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. As His Majesty is, so also is his mercy. From the book of Judith, we should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test as he did our forefathers. Recall how he dealt with Abraham, and how he tried Isaac, and all that happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia, while he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts, nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him.
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Sed qui invitati eram, non puerum digni. Ite ad exitus viarum, et quos unque invenebitis. Vocate ad trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God, our Creator, you gave us the earth to cultivate and the Son to serve our needs. Help us to spend this day for your glory and our neighbor's good. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church. Who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the Word, eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son 
and the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his life and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapetus, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, King Mary, Mother of Jesus, and Alma. 